departing officials, quote, must ensure that all record material they possess is incorporated in the department's official files and that all file searches for which they have been tasked have been completed. Right. This is a big one. Such as those required to respond to FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, congressional or litigation related document requests. And it goes on to say, and by the way, if you don't do it, all State Department employees, including the secretary, fines, imprisonment, or both may be imposed for the willful and unlawful removal and destruction of records as stated in the U.S. Criminal Code. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, get the take on this from David Goodfriend, Democratic strategist and former deputy staff secretary to President Bill Clinton. Hello, David. How are you? I'm good. So did why won't the State Department tell Fox News whether or not Hillary signed the document that everybody in state has to sign upon leaving? You know, I don't know the answer to your question. And I think part of what's going on here is we have a, uh, a rush to conclusions before we have evidence. Now, Secretary Clinton herself has said, I turn over documents as requested, as needed. I turned over 50,000, I'll turn over more if need be. I think we revealed here a pattern in government officials where one set of emails and devices is used privately, one set is used publicly, and sometimes there's crossover. Is that a crime? Is that a violation of policy? Is it an oversight? You know, I think we can ask these questions and we'll ask these questions from now until election day, assuming Hillary Clinton runs. Well, well, we let, well David, David, either, either she signed it or she didn't. If she signed it and then handed stuff over two years later, and by signing it, you're saying I've handed it over. So if she signed it, she perjured herself. And that's not just my opinion. That's the opinion of Andrew Napolitano and the opinion of, uh, of uh, 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 Shannon uh, Co Coffin here, who was on with Megyn Kelly from the Justice Department formerly. Uh, if she didn't sign it, why is Hillary Clinton above the rules and the law that everybody else has to obey? So she right. can't and win here. Well, a lot of people have concluded including my friend Brad Blakeman yesterday on, on uh, this network, have concluded that Hillary's toast. This is it. It's over. This is the big one. And I guess I would paraphrase Mark Twain in saying rumors of her political death are greatly exaggerated. Right, that's great, David. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that you know Mark Twain. The answer <laughs> is, the question is, if she signed it, we know she didn't hand stuff over until now. If she signed it, she lied what she signed. If she didn't sign it, she broke the rules. She's, she's the exception to the rule for everybody else. Either well, way, it's not good. Oh, I, look, this is not good. I'll agree with you on that. This is not good for anybody. However, there's a, there's a missing piece of logic to what you just said, because the very same laws and policies that you're citing also vest in the secretary, him or herself, the authority to uh, decide what is uh, uh, required to be maintained in government records, what is confidential, what is uh, highly sensitive, and what is not. That's not unusual. Every single agency head not has true. an enormous amount of discretion. Not true. They said that, that document says, protected. the document says you have to sit down with someone from the State Department and go over and they will decide what needs to be kept and what doesn't. Hillary did, did you it know? two, two did, years later. You know, I know whether that conversation actually took place at state. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. That's what I mean when I say. Well, then why well, weren't they? Well, then, then David, if it without, did take place, then why weren't the emails handed over when they were supposed to be handed over? Why two years out uh, after when, when the uh, Benghazi Oversight Committee decided to, to look for them? Uh, wait a second. That that's you're now trying to draw a connection between the Benghazi. I'm saying why did he, why is Hillary that. handing our emails over now? Why weren't they handed over when she left? Well, if you and I get into a lawsuit with each other, I have to request documents from you. That's the same way a committee no, works. No, 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 no. There was no lawsuit when she left. She was I, supposed I to hand Wait. them over when no, she I understand. left. I understand. So if somebody can show me that because they have a legal right to documents in my filing cabinet, I have to turn them over. No, no, if no, I no, 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 you don't. But, 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 oh, but, but David, 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 David your law. premise is wrong. You don't have a legal right to have those in your filing cabinet. They had to be turned over two years prior when you left. That's here's the what, problem. Uh, here's, here's the one. I'm not going to argue with you that this is awkward or bad or that we need to get more facts. Of course we need to get more facts. You got facts. 10 seconds. Final word. Go ahead. 
we already know that a lot of innocent, totally innocuous documents are mixed in with that, and it's the process of sifting through what is necessary for somebody's investigation and what has to do with Chelsea's wedding. Okay. And that's fair game. All right, David, good friend. Thank you. We're coming back, folks. Don't go away.